I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mono Project. We here at the Mono Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, inspiration, education, uh, guidance, advice, and I want to talk this morning about a, a basic Jewish concept uh, when the Creator says, "Be holy." for I am holy. In the book of Leviticus, he says it five or six, six times, uh, be holy, for I am holy. And in one of those times, Leviticus 19, verse 2, it, the commandment doesn't follow the usual chain. Uh, usually a commandment is given to Moses, Moses then repeats it to Aaron, Aaron repeats it to his sons, the sons to the elders, and then eventually it filters its way down to all of uh, B'nai Israel, all, all the children of Israel. Not in Leviticus 19.2 where it says, um, and, I, and this is the verse, speak to the entire assembly of the children of Israel and say unto them, you shall be holy for I am holy. This says to Moses, bypass the usual chain of command, go right to the people, be holy for, my, for I am holy. It's a little unusual. Um, uh, Rav Shlomo Yosef Zevin explains that the demand for Kedusha, the demand for holiness, goes beyond merely performing a mitzvah. By performing the mitzvah, you are increasing your level of holiness. Um, you are becoming... Uh, you're emulating God, and as he says, be holy for I am holy. By obeying the commandments, you are increasing your level of kedusha. you're increasing uh, your level uh, of holiness. Um, this is why um, this mitzvah, be holy for I am holy, was told to the entire um, Jewish people, because every Jew, uh, regardless of their of their level, has a certain degree of holiness, a certain degree of kedusha. When he uh, and all the Jews were gathered at uh, Har Sinai, at Mount Sinai, and they heard the commandments, and each according to his level, understood it in a slightly different way. Um, not that it was a different commandment. They just there's there's certain levels. Uh, for example. Um, Every Jew heard the voice of God at Sinai, and one of the commandments, uh, don't murder. Often translated as don't kill, but that's not exactly what it means. Don't, don't murder means a specific kind of illegal killing. God often says, uh, fight a Moloch, kill women, children, babies, animals. Uh, many times God orders the Jewish people to kill in war. Murder is a specific kind of illegal killing. Uh, if you kill in self-defense, it's not murder. If you kill to defend somebody else, it's not murder. If you kill in war, it's not murder. If you uh, legally uh, execute someone, it's not murder. When the Jewish people heard, Lo tirzach, shall not murder, according to the level, they understood it in their own level of Kedusha, in their own level of holiness. For example, at the Pshat, the plain black and white text level, don't murder, do not be responsible for causing someone's illegal death. That's what it means, don't murder. But at a deeper level, some people will also say, you know what, and this is brought down in the, uh, in the, in the Talmud and, in the, and by Chazal, our sages, that humiliating someone in public is tantamount to murder. You're murdering their reputation, they're, you're, you're, you're killing off uh, their good name. And what's the hint? Well, how do we know this? When someone is humiliated, they blush. And that blood rushing to the face reminds us that it is, it is kind of like murder. Um, again, at the Peshat level, don't murder means exactly that, don't murder. But at a deeper, deeper level, um, uh, it has other meanings and other uh, dimensions. Um, every Jew heard 
um, the commandments, each to his own levels. Um, and therefore, all the Jews who heard it t together, be holy for I am holy, um, it applied to all Jews according to their own individual level. Uh, now, obviously, you read, you learn, you understand, you try and explore the depths, the breadths, the levels, the difference, you know, the pshat, uh, the remis, the hints, the drush, the deeper things, Kabbalistically, but um, each, and it's important to realize this, we all have a certain degree of Kedusha, holiness, according to our level. Um, some uh, Gedolim, some great people, some righteous people, Tzadikim, have a lot of Kedusha. The ordinary person perhaps has a little less, but don't be complacent. Work on it, and one of the reasons, uh, and one of the ways that we do it is by, is by performing the mitzvahs as best we can, and uh, in so doing, increasing our holiness and increasing our connection to God. Rabbi um, Nachman of Breslov says, each time you do a commandment, that's like a cord connecting you to the Creator. And the more you do, the more you connect, the more you connect, the holier you become. And um, this is the point of life. This is the point of the commandments. Be holy, for I am holy. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.